gliding down a wall and oh <laughs> I just like see on my mini map all enemies are swarming towards me I didn't charge someone up earlier did I? that's like, me dying was kind of a good thing then oh this enemy turret hardly ever does anything dude die Let's try to be stealthy. Yes. Explosions. See if once an explosion works out in my favor. No. All of you will burn. Oh, uh oh. I'm exploding. Ha. Huh. You know, I don't think there are even this many explosions later in the game. It's just that Dustman really like explosions and robots and just being annoying in general. That's the only thing about the latest enemies in the game is that they're just so resilient. But they're not like... Don't have these stupidly annoying... Weapons and enemies. I thought you died. Dude, are you trying to throw a grenade straight up? That's that's just not a good battle tactic. Can you survive a grenade straight to your face? Okay, who's alive? What the hell? Well. I ran victorious over what little life there is left in this place. Okay, so now I can make our wake up. Wake. Way up. Seek. Okay. Oh, I was able to me? get that dead drop. Seek. Oh no. How can I hear his voice like that? I'm coming. Uh, can I get that dead drop first? I I'd really like to. Oh man, this is interesting music. Uh, this is time, by the way, but I really want to get this dead drop. <laughs> oh, I'm exploding. First glimpse of a device Kessler calls the Ray Sphere. It's about the size of a basketball. No, Ray Sphere, we've heard about that. Two hands that are connected via an array of Actually, no, I'm not sure if you're on time at the moment, right here. Object occupies its center. At first blush, it looks like a bomb at some time. This part actually it's takes a bit, takes a bit, can actually take a bit of time. Hey, it's inaccurate. Also, I do think weapons like, uh, the, whatever it's called, I don't remember what it's called, weapons like the hammer, seem to have unlimited range. Thankfully, unlike your normal bolt. And I am digging into my time for side missions, that's annoying me a lot. And I swear, if I get managed to kill that guy in the air. See, unless I get air, should be killing these guys. Oh crap. Well, apparently- Oh, yeah, if you fall down, uh, that happens. That's what you have to avoid doing. Although you do get put in a bunch of position if you fail, so... Okay, I was like sitting there for a moment because I heard a dead drop in though. There wasn't anything new there. Dude. 
Alright. Yeah, see, I can hear right over there. Fuck, dude. I really am coming to all my... Time for, uh... Side missions, which... It does me a lot, because I really like doing all the side missions, and I really want to get them all done and not have, like... Lots of missions, you know, lots of episodes where I'm just doing nothing but side missions. Was he seriously behind a shield? Uh, behind cover. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we can actually... Oh, dude! <laughs> I don't know what he came here for. Bye. Oh, you're in an odd place. Just as your father wanted. Okay, you can just, like, fall a very long hike. Or apparently you won't. So you will. Bye. Yeah, I still hear Dedros in certain places here for some reason. Anyways, lower the crane. Ooh, there is close, and then there was that. That's not good how Zeke was able to hear me. Um, I guess I'm supposed to come down here. What the hell were you doing down here? I was just trying to help out, man. I wanted to sneak in and see what the trash baggers were up to. Are you insane? You're lucky they didn't kill you. What are you saying? That old Zeke needs to go back to his roof and just chill? That he's only good for a laugh and a beer, but when it's go time, he ain't worth a damn? That what you're saying, Cole? No, I'm this saying you don't need to be an game, idiot. Zeke. Not anymore. But just because you got powers doesn't make you better than everyone else. Not by a long shot. Just because you got a s pistol doesn't mean you're better than anyone else, dude. Especially in a place like this. Alright, so for side missions. Well, there's a hidden package up here, apparently. It's actually kind of difficult to get back into that area. Which really annoys me. Because this gets boarded off. That's the main problem with this. I don't remember where, where you in, uh, can get in through. Really kamikaze. But people don't run like that. I'm lucky you didn't get shot, people. There's some area. Like a little pocket that you can get into. See, the reason I want to do this mission right now uh, is that when... No, well, never mind. The hand package despawns like it just did. I have vital information about the transients. Follow me. That's always what happens. How, how did they get there? Oh, come on. Seriously, how did they? Vital information about the transients. Follow me. Really? You're just hiding in there, knowing that that guy would do that? Die, dude. Do it. Jerks. Oh man, I just lost a ton more frames too. I mean a ton. 1,500. Nice. Whatever is about to explode, please shut up. I said shut up.
Okay, so, we're, so some more side missions. Walk the dogs, and walk the dogs, right. Especially Great Hind don't actually like walk the dog missions. Dude, leave me alone. Yeah, actually got a decent bit of hero karma. Once I got past that cab. I'm mean, actually getting through this game a lot faster than I expected to. It's kind of weird. Dude. I'm just trying to remember it big. Ugh. I'm honest with all of these ambushes. That's another reason I like doing the side missions. Well, you actually get a decent amount of experience from them too. But there's all this! Oh god! Really? You don't have to deal with that! You don't want the dogs, it seems like all over the place too. You don't know where you're gonna end up. Should I just... I think I'm just gonna walk this. So let's hope that it doesn't like disappear because enemies or anything like that. It's really not. It did! Because of. How did that even get up there? Hey, can this guy like be a side mission again? Apparently he can't. That's something I don't like about the hero side missions, is that if there are any enemies nearby, you're not going to be able to do it. Okay. Thank you. Got some prisoners we need not to fitting this up, so no less. Escort them across town. Well, I think I have to do this. Your offices really just suck that much? Who are they? Dude, what prisoners? Oh, here we are. I didn't get to follow him, so I was doing something else. In the head. That apparently hurt quite a bit. Come on, dude. I need to re-explain to me how to do this every time. Yes, thank you. I know I have to escort them. But that's a nice enough escape but when I'm doing this. Instead of like trying to make a break for it. So it really would be a good time to try to do so. Yeah, I already have half half of the hero karma filled. No one gets away from me. And by the way, absolutely no amount of force can actually kill them. So don't be afraid, uh, particularly for evil. Uh, I think there are. Yeah, there are a couple of evil walk the dogs missions. Uh, I think it's called something else though. Uh, you can use like Megawatt Hammer or whatever you may want to get rid of them. Dude, let's make him float. Die. Die. Whoa. I wasn't trying to do that. I'm also shooting. Here's how random the events are in this. In the Lock the Dogs missions. Like if this 
some of the spawns are just like random or like enemies appearing and if how the uh and prisoners run away at random, random intervals or it's actually nice determined predetermined i'm losing more frames dude something about this game is just There's only three. Dude, this guy's slow. Jail's right over here, so we don't have all day. Come on, guys. This will not be fun to watch. Oh, they punch me? Dude, that's a horrible idea. They're not gonna beat me, and it'd be much more effective to just run. Oh, you see how far away that one guy got? Come on, right here. Okay, apparently that was a bad idea. Doing that too much, I'm pretty sure, does make him run away, but... Okay, let's just walk now. Not run, just walk. Controlled walk. We're at the jail now. What the... Hey. Really? Yeah, <laughs> look at it. It's so cartoony how fast they run. They were at the jail, too. Apparently, have trouble navigating around the cars. Come on, guys. We're having trouble getting inside. Okay, they're here now. Mission complete. Thank you. That wasn't fun. The capture card didn't like it either. I'm mean, definitely not going to be doing the other walk the dog mission, because that had to have been boring to watch. So I'm not just going to give you more of what was boring to watch. Man, my karma. This skyrocketing. Is there a L train? Yeah, L points. L train is just a copy of, uh, like a short copy of the train mission in the Neon. Why was that thing even there? All these like su surprise attacks that the dustmen do are really annoying. Oh, and that injured guy just disappeared. Because this is a world of logic. Oh! Go to all of you. Oh, hi, conduit. No kind of technology they have or use for that. Damn transients put surveillance gear all over my building. Destroy that stuff. So I can't hear a one from like four feet away. Okay, that's kind of far away. But I can hear a one, Zeke, from like a few hundred feet away, just like casually talking. Oh, okay. I'm getting shot at a lot, so I like to not be just gawking at things right now. It's bus shard too. And yes, enemies do actually like spawn specifically for these. And apparently I picked up that shard.
Hi. That didn't count as I fall. Just die. Is that it? Alright. So simple little secret find. You know why I f find uh, these missions boring, but it's kind of relaxing. Contrast to all the annoying enemies in this place. And there are tons of these things, just everywhere. I don't see why you would need one surveillance device here, and another here. Judging by how spread out that they are in other places, they're good enough at detecting whatever it is that they have to detect to not require you to have them that close together. And of course, that's just me attempting to apply logic to a video game, which is for whatever reason frowned upon by some people. Plus, it's some fun platforming. This will probably end up the episode after I find a dead drop, I guess. I've been finding like one dead drop per episode. It's kind of cool. Okay, okay, just destroy it. And they're all over here because that little circle is nice enough to move around for us. Stop shooting at me. I don't like the sounds of guns anymore. It's just annoying now. Where's that last one? There we go. Ah, third of the one. Oh, I'm not picking up any... I do want to do a medic mission, but I'm not going to. Not picking up any bed drops? Really? Here we go. So I'm gonna end off the episode with... Look around for a dead drop over here. Oh, I know which one's guiding me too. Hug. I'm gonna go get it, but it's gonna be a high climb. Where's that guy coming from? Oh, he sure followed me a long way. Man, I got like Max Karma now. It's awesome. My karma has risen dramatically. Of course, there's tons of enemies right here. Right where what I want is, even though it doesn't actually involve them. Because otherwise, it actually makes sense for them to be guarding something. But chances are, they don't even know that drops are there, otherwise, they'd be collecting it. Or do they have the resources necessary to decode the dead drop as far as we know? It's a bit of an unconventional way of getting up here, I think. Maybe not. Oh, nope. He's already unconscious by the time he hit the ground. And this dead drop is in a bit of an odd place, too, in terms of like where the Sally dish is. Why they just shoot at me? From oh. anyways, it's over here for whatever reason. Audio recording of Tesla follows. Experiment number thirty-four J. 
placing a male rat of average size into a lead box. He's the ray rat, sphere yeah. is in a secondary chamber adjacent to test subject. All previous experiments have ended in instantaneous death of the subject. Closing the lid, activating the ray sphere. Ray sphere is cycling down. And wait. I can hear the subject moving. Unbelievable! It's flying! Damn it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh god, that is my favorite dead drop. Alright, but with that, I will be ending off this episode, and thus recording session. Uh, I will see you guys next time on Infamous, or let's play Infamous, rather. So this is the usual Lunar Rising, sign out, all that crap. Let's see how far we are in the game. Not too much further. Eh. <sighs> Something on halfway through. Uh, about five somethings. I don't know, I'm not really in the mood for doing mental math. But anyways, I'm at an hour fifteen and eighteen minutes, so I should be at an hour eighteen minutes. So I'll be saying goodbye to all of you. And this is me saying goodbye to all of you. Bye.